This North Korean tour guide welcomes the Chinese visitors, some of the first since China threw its weight behind UN sanctions over nuclear threats. Here, visitors pay a mandatory $3 each for plastic flowers that they lay at the base of a statue to North Korea's founding father, Kim Il-sung. The one-day tour costs Chinese visitors 130 U.S. dollars each, all of which goes to the North Korean government. Closely guarded the entire time, they are driven through Sinwiju, North Korea's fourth largest city. Past City Hall, a cinema, a school, a hospital. It's a rare glimpse into one of the world's most isolated and closed societies. Across the border in the Chinese port city of Dandong, the North Korean government runs several restaurants, giving local Chinese a taste of North Korean culture and cuisine. Outside, signs in Korean meant to lure visitors to the city's many shops. But with most of the economic sanctions still in place, things have slowed down here. My business has been affected a lot. The four-day tour to North Korea got suspended. Tourists go to other places. But for $12, people can still get on a boat to travel down the Yalu River that sits between the two countries. Dandong is a major hub for trade with North Korea, and China had hoped its own market reforms would eventually be adopted by North Korea. But the North Koreans haven't lived up to their end of the bargain. Just behind this border fence, further evidence of the strained Sino-Korean relationship. This patch of North Korea was supposed to have been converted into a special economic zone, with Chinese-owned factories manned by cheap North Korean labor. But the only Chinese here are curious onlookers. But Beijing doesn't want its neighbor to remain a simple curio, so it's funding this 300 million U.S. dollar multi-lane bridge. It's meant to increase access between Sinwiju and Dandong. But progress is slow, and there is no guarantee North Korea will play ball. Yet another sign that all is not well between the two once unshakable allies. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera.